Alex's heartbeat. How's Body getting on, Professor? Well, he's coping pretty well without his heart for now. I've connected him up to the computer to keep him going. Hmm, is that such a great idea? Hmm, I'm not sure. He seems to have smashed my top score on Cheese Weasels and that took me ages. Annoying. Well, all the more reason to get his new heart finished. Lab coats at the ready. So how does your heart work? Beautifully simple. Remember what the inside of the heart looks like? It's got four spaces called chambers. Two are at the top and two at the bottom. They work together to squeeze blood around your body. You can feel this pumping by feeling your pulse. Place two fingers on the side of your neck or on your wrist. Every pulse beat is a pump. And it's a really powerful pump. Your heart beats over 100,000 times every day, pumping 7,200 litres of blood, enough to fill a paddling pool. So I don't think it would be that nice to paddle in a paddling pool of blood. Yuck! But why do we need blood, you may ask? Well, blood's most important job is to pick up oxygen from our lungs and carry it around the body to every cell and organ. It's like a high-speed delivery service. Parcel for you. Much faster than the postman, the heart can pump blood around your body in less than a minute. So how does it travel so fast? Well, if you've been on a motorway in a car or gone up on an escalator, you'll know that when everyone is going the same way, you can go much faster. In the same way, our arteries, veins and capillaries all carry blood in one direction and one direction only. Not that one direction. To stop blood going backwards, your heart has strong valves on the entries and exits. Valves are like heavy doors that only open one way. If you've ever been sat on a public toilet without a lock, you might have found the doors keep swinging in as people push it. What do you do? You shove your foot out and hold it closed so no one can come in without your say-so. That's a bit like a valve. A one-way door. I said one way, not one direction. Of course, things can go wrong with a heart and the valves are a part that can be affected. Oh. Did you know that when a doctor listens to your heartbeat with a stethoscope, he's actually listening to the noise of heart valves snapping shut? Sometimes the valves don't work quite as well as they should. It can be caused by an infection or getting older, and sometimes people are just born with faulty valves. They might be fine to be left alone, maybe treated with medicine, but sometimes an operation may help the heart to work more efficiently. Thanks, nurse. Now, Body is lucky because we can make him a new heart in our laboratory. It's not quite as easy to replace human hearts. So here's a tip. Make sure you keep your ticker in top shape. Ticker tip. Today's ticker tip is have a healthy diet. They say you are what you eat. Well, maybe we should add, your heart is as good as the food you give it. What you eat and drink has a great influence on your heart's health. Too much fat can congest the vessels supplying the heart and the network of arteries and veins around your body, making it harder to deliver the precious oxygen. What's more, a healthy diet will help you keep to a healthy weight. If you are overweight, you are more likely to have things like raised cholesterol, which can be bad for the heart. Thanks, nurse. All that talk of food has made me hungry. A crunchy apple for me. See you later. Professor Hallux's Heartbeat, funded thanks to a Heart Research UK Healthy Heart Grant. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.